Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to protect your identity. Protect your identity during this time. And I've been talking about taking your rightful position and as I was studying and preparing for this message, God was really speaking to me in regards to how everyone is not going to be happy with the new title, with the elevation, with what God is doing in your life. So there's going to be a time where you're going to need to protect the move of God in your life, to protect what God is doing in your life until there is a proper time for things to be revealed. God is saying there is a proper time where things will uncover and unfold, where it's time for everyone to know who you are and what you're doing, okay, and what God is doing in your life. But until then, God is saying protect it, protect it like a baby. And he gave me the example of David and Jonathan and Saul, okay? So if you're unfamiliar with the story of David, okay, David was a shepherd boy but he was anointed to be king, okay? He was next in line to be king. And Saul was king at the time. So Saul knew that David was next in line, but David became really, really good friends with Saul's son, Jonathan, okay? And so there was a time where David had to go away, go into the secret place and protect himself because Saul the king at the time was trying to kill him. He was trying to kill him because he was not happy. There was a lot of jealousy and envy for who David was and what God was doing in his life and in, in his position because David was ultimately taking Saul's position. And so if we read in 1 Samuel 19, it says, and this is entitled, Saul tries to kill David. It says, and Saul spoke to Jonathan, his son, and to all his servants, that they should kill David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, Saul, my father, seeks to kill you. Therefore, be on your guard in the morning. Stay in a secret place and hide yourself. Okay? So God is saying to someone is to stay in that secret place keep your identity protect what the move of god what he's doing in your life in the secret place protect it keep it covered until it is properly time for things to be revealed and god said i do have a time i do have a time for where everything is going to unfold but until then we want to protect it because everybody's not happy for you there are people that may try to interfere you know with what God is doing. And it's not that they can, but you don't want to make things harder than what they already have to be, okay? As far as spiritual warfare and attacks, okay? So God is saying there will be a time when things will be unveiled, but protect the move of God. Protect the move of God and what he's doing in your life because you're going to a higher position. You're going to a higher level. And specifically what he showed me about the position that many of you are going to he gave me some revelation and i'll be reading from isaiah 22 isaiah 22 starting at verse 19 okay and it says yes i will drive you out of office says the lord i will pull you down from your high position and then i will call my servant elkalim son of hekalim to replace you I will dress him in your royal robes and will give him your title and your authority. And he will be a father to the people of Jerusalem and Judah. I will give him the key to the house of David, the highest position in the royal court. When he opens doors, no one will be able to close them. And when he closes doors, no one will be able to open them. He will bring honor to his family name, for I will drive him firmly in place like a nail in the wall. They will give him great responsibility, and he will bring honor to even the lowliest members of his family. Okay, so this is God speaking. Okay, this is God speaking, and he's saying, uh, 
he's 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 basically telling the people that I'm driving you out and I'm bringing my servant. My servant is coming in and is taking over. He's coming into the high position, my servant. And he's putting on the robes and he's giving him the title and authority. So you have a new title. With this position, you're going to have a new title. God has given you new authority, new responsibility. Many of you may be even over a flock. God has specifically set apart a specific group of people because it says that, um, and he will be a father to the people of Jerusalem and Judah. Okay, so this is a time where God is bringing his people into position okay he's calling his people to come together and so he's putting certain people in place in certain territories okay to bring his people together and you will be the father um like a father to these people you will be like a mother to these people you but which means just god is putting you you will have a flock okay you will have a flock there will be people under you that god has called to you that God has connected to your assignment that he specifically set apart for you to shepherd okay there's a certain group of people that God has set apart for you to shepherd and so it says I will give him the keys he has given you keys he has given you keys so this comes with power and authority but because you are his servant he trusts you with this level of elevation you have been given the keys and so um and great responsibility and great responsibility okay and so everyone's not going to be happy with this position with this new title with this new level of authority so god is saying protect it protect it because at the proper time things will be revealed he also gave me the example of joseph okay and when if you're unfamiliar with the story of Joseph, Joseph was sold off by his brothers into slavery. And then years later, he eventually be, ended up being second in command in Egypt. And his brothers actually had to go to him um, for food and for survival. But when jo Joseph's brothers came to him, they did not recognize Joseph. And Joseph did not reveal his identity to his brothers right away. He had to test them. He had to test their hearts. He had to see where they were. And and then there was a proper time for Joseph to reveal his true identity to his brothers. Okay, but there was a certain test and things that he had his brothers do before the proper time came where he revealed his true identity. And God is saying that there is going to be a proper time where your true identity will be revealed. But there is a few saws out there you know, everyone's not going to be happy. They're going to try to attack. So you have to protect the move of God in your life. Okay. Um, and what God is doing in your life. Okay. And so that's all I have for now. If you would like to be a guest on Jordan's Journey podcast, an in-person guest, and you're available to come to Pittsburgh, PA, or in, you're in the surrounding areas, come be a guest, share your testimony. I hope that you guys, you all are enjoying the podcast. Um, and the guests that have been on there so far. If you need additional resources to help you grow in life and faith, make sure you check the description box below. God loves you so much and so do I.